Hey nerds, JJ Kai Morris here. Today I'm going to be talking about what to expect from writing groups. So this specifically, I'm going to be talking about in-person writing groups. So I know right now the whole COVID thing, people are doing definitely doing a lot more of the like Zoom writing groups and the online meetings or just, um, you know, things of that, that nature. But I'm specifically talking about in-person writing groups. Basically, the point of a writing group is to get feedback on your work. And this is very, very essential in um, developing your craft and getting better as a writer is to get feedback from other writers. And they can get down um, and specifically identify certain things that maybe just a casual reader couldn't really explain to the full extent that another writer could. So um, in my opinion, I think that writing groups are completely essential. So here is what to expect from a writing group going to be expected to bring some of your work and that's probably going to be between five and ten pages double spaced double spaced okay so this is always going to depend on the group some groups have different parameters or have different plans or different time allotted for reading and feedback but you're going to want to read whatever they specify if they say five pages double spaced you're not going to want to bring 15 pages of single spaced work and expect to get through it all and get feedback on it because there are going to be a lot of other people there, or at least someone else there that's going to need time to share their work as well. So so you, so you are going to be expected to bring some of your work, uh, make sure you read the description of whatever the group is, and fall within those parameters. Uh, the next thing that you can expect is some writing groups are going to be genre specific. And by that I mean some groups are going to be uh, poetry related. So if you have written a sci-fi fantasy epic, you're maybe not going to fit into the poetry category, or if you're writing, you know, something like that, uh, make sure you go to the group in the genre that you are writing in currently. I know that um, a lot of them tend to just be a blanket, like, fiction writer meetup, but some of them do tend to specify, like, this is just for memoirs, or this is just for poetry, or this is just for, you know, uh, mystery, or whatever. So, yes, do please do try to fall within the, the genre parameters of the group meeting, and that is just because... Um, I mean, I'm not to say that you can't go to those as well if you're writing in other genres, but the whole point of that is those people who are going to those genre-specific groups are going to be reading in that genre. So it's not quite as helpful to get feedback from someone who doesn't read in the genre that you're writing in. So I know, for example, my sister hates sci-fi. She hates reading sci-fi. She loves fantasy, but hates sci-fi. So she's not going to be a good person to get feedback from on your sci-fi work. So the next thing is uh, make sure you bring enough printed copies for everyone in attendance. Um, it depends on how the group is set up. Sometimes it will be a set amount of people and sometimes it will, if you're on an app like Meetup, like, uh, like I am, you can see the number of people in attendance beforehand. So bring enough hard copies of your work that you're going to share for feedback um, and make sure you bring a copy for yourself. So that's the other thing. Uh, sometimes people tend to uh, remember to bring copy hard copies for everyone, but they forget to bring one for themselves and then they end up having to read it on their phone or wherever. Um, so yes, uh, bring enough copies for everyone and bring one for yourself because that brings me to my next point is that you are going to be expected to read your work out loud. And I know that can be kind of daunting and scary for some of us introverts and I know and I understand that it, it's rough. Um, if you really really have a problem with reading out loud to a group of people, which I understand, um, probably just let let them know that you would prefer to not read it out loud and just hand out your copies and um, and have them read it in their heads. Try please just try to read it out loud. I think I think you can gain a lot from reading your work out loud to other people. First of all because reading out loud will really help you catch a lot of the uh, errors in your work or if something is not quite flowing the way that you thought it would. Uh, reading out loud definitely helps but um, I understand it does take quite a bit of courage to some people and it is very nerve-wracking, at least to me, to read my work out loud to a group of people. But that is something that uh, is is kind of an expectation, so uh, be aware of that and also be prepared if, if you're not going to want to do that. So maybe practice reading it at home first before you go out and read it in front of people, if that, that might help a little bit. So usually how um, writing groups work is everyone meets up, you go around in a circle and one at a time, you're going to hand out your hard copies of your work, you're going to read it out loud, and then everyone will go around in a circle and give you feedback on that piece of writing that you've given them. So make sure you've, you know, edited it to the best of your abilities. And so usually it goes in some kind of circle or some kind of order, whatever that may be. And 
uh, yes, you will be expected to give feedback for the other writers in attendance. So um, don't go there expecting to only get feedback on your writing without having to give feedback as well. Uh, that's something that can also be kind of daunting for you new writers is having to give feedback on something that you've only heard once or maybe you weren't paying attention or like you, you should, or sometimes you just don't know what to say. Um, and I am planning on doing my next video is kind of a a how-to for giving feedback in writing groups and it can be a little bit scary because sometimes you are kind of put on the spot in trying to figure out to, oh, what to say what to give feedback on you know how rough to be or how nice to be so um yes my next stay tuned for my next video where i will be going in depth about how to give in-person critique feedback in a writing group i hope that answers some of your questions about writing groups if you have any more questions please feel free to drop them down in the comments below um, if you are in the greater Nashville area, I do host a uh, writing group uh, that meets spontaneously, sometimes Saturdays, sometimes Wednesdays. I will put a link to that meetup app in the description below um, if you live in the area. So kind of a quick and dirty summary of what to expect in a writing group it is one, bring a short amount of work that you want to be shared. Um, it doesn't have to be a complete short story, it doesn't have to be a complete scene, it just has to be um, whatever you want worked on at the moment. Um, make sure it falls within the parameters of the number of pages and or the word count and bring enough copies for everyone in attendance, including yourself. Be prepared to read your work aloud and be prepared to take and give feedback for everyone in the group. And I really suggest you join a writing group, if only just to have other writer friends to lean on during your writing journey, which can definitely be very difficult and sometimes soul crushing. So it's nice to have someone who's in the same boat as you, who understands, um, you know, what you're going through and someone you can lean on and share ideas with and kind of uh, maybe even become critique partners with. But more on that later. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to get notified when I do further content such as this. And also, if you want to follow me, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And then uh, go ahead and go down to my website down in the description and subscribe to my newsletter for more information on when I post new videos and other content. And thanks for watching, nerds.